I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? What's going on everyone? My name's Victor and today I'm going to teach you how to do that effect in the beginning of Money in the Grave by Drake. How he is rapping but also kind of moving slowly and I will get into that right now. Super easy. There's a few things that you need to do to achieve this look. Now, the look is super subtle. You may not have even noticed it at all. Basically, he's rapping, but you can notice that his clothes are moving in slow motion and his steps are slower than humanly accurate because you would have to have really good balance to move that slow. There's something off about it when you look at it. What they are doing is they are playing the song at one and a half, maybe two times the speed and then they film it at let's say 60 frames a second and then when you go into Adobe Premiere or whatever editing software you use you slow that footage down by however much you need to to make it line up with the actual song now I did something similar on a music video that I shot a few months ago but I did the reverse effect so I had the artist play the song at half speed and he is rapping it all slow but I'm trying to get him to move fluently and then when I go and speed it up to where it should line up where his mouth should line up with the beat he's got some erratic movements and that is an easy way for you to add energy it's a little more punchy a little more uh, stylized and so is what Drake did it's all based on the look that you want now that uh, look doesn't look like it carries on throughout the entire music video but it's something subtle and interesting that you could use to spice up your videos. All right, let's recap. So all you need to do is play the song at one and a half or two times the speed and have your artist be able to keep up with that with their mouth. You know, you might be wondering, how do I get a song to play at, you know, 1.5 or two times the speed? Uh, well, if you put it on YouTube, you can change the playback speed like that. Or you can have the sound engineer go in and do that themselves. It's up to you. The artist just needs to be able to keep up with it and then, you know, they just do their thing. Just make sure that you're shooting in a high enough frame rate. I would recommend 60 frames a second because A, that's still going to capture your audio and you can slow it down a little over 50% if need be and you export to 24 frames a second. Alright guys, I hope this helps and I hope you can start implementing some uh, big budget effects. <laughs> it's not really. It's super easy but i just i saw that in drake's music video and i was like oh my gosh people might not know how this is done or might not even notice it but i knew how it worked and i wanted to share it with you guys if you like this video and it helped you please leave a like comment and don't forget to subscribe and i will be back with some more tutorials